Well, it's not difficult from my point of view. I thought for 32 minutes before their first goal, I thought we were giving a good performance. I thought we were disrupting their play. I thought we were trying to be effective, um, asking questions of them and not too many against ourselves. But then I saw half a mistake. I was trying to block it. That's the way it goes. Unfortunately, it went in. And then a second mistake, and all of a sudden the whole feeling's changed, and that's why goals change games. It's you know I say it's not just the, the physical scoreline; it's the feel of a performance, and then they grow a little bit. And the third one's my biggest gripe. I mean, I, I I don't know where we're going on that one. You know, I can assure you, there's nothing about that at half time. So I think we just got too involved in a moment, and then it's hard work from there. And you know, two 0 you you never know the way we're playing. We nick one, it changes the feeling back in our favour, but. 3-0 it's very difficult in, in the Premier League anywhere, uh, particularly here, new manager, the feel, all the rest of it. So uh, by then the game's gone and, and then it's damage limitation of looking after our players because we've got another big game coming up. It's, it's all about, you know, shot nine goals, but then defensively. Yeah, of course. And, you know, we had a we had a spell of mistakes early in the season. Um, and then we changed that and eradicated that, obviously, with only conceding four in the last eight. And then today, the mistakes, can, you know, crept back in. And it's highly improbable that we get that many mistakes in one game, but we did. Uh, and it had a massive effect on the outcome. Well, there's no collapse. They scored the third in the, in the first 30 seconds. Well, three 0 down at any level of football is very difficult, but particularly at this level of football. How disappointing to see them score so early. Yeah, like I said, I mean, you, you can't legislate for that. You know, I've never seen my team do that, or a team I've worked with just crunch the pitch so far over that it's just literally a hoik out the other way, and and they're in it's not necessarily right on goal, but they're in a, a very uh, ad, advantageous goal scoring position. Um, so yeah, it's, it's no no collapse. It's just a, a, a ridiculous moment for a team to give away such a soft goal. That was my big scribe of the goals. Mistakes can happen. These are good players who rarely have made them mistakes. But that but that as a team, that's you know something that you certainly can't legislate for. And the team know that, of course they do. After you went behind, did you have any faith that you might be able to pass? Certainly in the in the first half, without a doubt, um, and then the second half has gone away too quick. You haven't even had time to you know sit and, and absorb what's just gone on, really, or stand and absorb in my case. But no, first half, I, I said to the team half time, I said lads, it's still there. You know the sense of what we were getting into key areas, some of the play to open them up, I thought was very good. So yeah, of course you always believe, but it does wane when you're just giving away a, a, a really poor within 30 seconds of the second half. Obviously, it's very difficult from that. And I've been in this league for a long time and it's very difficult to come back from 3-0 down at Old Trafford. So you have the away fans at the end, but there were a lot of empty seats there. Of course, yeah. I said early season that it'd be helpful if you tell it the right way this time because I didn't question our fans. I never have questioned our fans. No, no, not you personally, the media at large. I've never questioned our fans, never once, and I certainly wouldn't. Um, they're here again today. They're in good voice. They want to support the team, but they want to support a team that can win, and we haven't won. And it's simple as that. So, therefore, no question of our fans. A question on me, myself, the staff, the team, and how we can correct things further, how we can go further with this team. They're the questions, but never on the fans. After 2013, what evidence do you see that you can There's key moments. There's the evidence. We're still finding key moments, but we've got to take them. I mean, they took theirs today from mistakes. They still found the last pass, the last finish. It's been a challenge year. I've spoken about it to you and others recently. I looked down the last five seasons, not a team that's been scoring loads of goals for a long time. It's how, how effective you can be. But you've got to keep the back door shut quite obviously. And we've been doing that. But how you know how can you find other ways of scoring? And today I thought we got in some really good areas. The final finish, the final moment, slide pass, a shot, you know, these sort of things. They're vital in a game. And we haven't got on the right side of that again today. Sorry. Sorry. Well, just continue to work with it. It's not that easy, as I said to you recently. You know, most managers fix it with a checkbook. We haven't had that since I've been at the club. So therefore, we're trying to progress in different ways, trying to find different ways, different players, different options, different ways of playing. Today, we tried to play more open. We tried to open up options to get into the the final third differently, if not better. And I thought we did that, certainly for 32 minutes. Um, we changed the striker. A bit harsh on Dom, I don't think he's doing a lot wrong, but obviously three in a week, we have to monitor that as well. Trying different ways to be effective, you know, and, and, and open up the opposition. And it's, it, it's a tough ask, obviously, if it wasn't, everyone would do it. Do you feel you're going to be able to turn this around? 
You know, I've turned around many things in my career, and certainly here. Goodness me, it's been up, down, up, down, up, down ever since I've been here, since the first day I walked in. So that's the ongoing challenge. And I think the consistency of a group here has been hard to find for me, for the last manager, the one before that. So it's, it's, not, a, it's not like a given that you find that consistency. But I think we've got a group of players who are very honest. I think they're up for the challenge. They've shown that for the last couple of seasons. That's the challenge right in front of our eyes straight again. Yeah. Hi, Sean. You, um, you know, you do your work in the week and you, like you say, you have a good half an hour in the game and then Franco, the second goal, gives the ball away, caught in possession, then Tarkowski gives it in the second half. You just kind of know something will no, not helpless. I mean, it's you know, it's it's very unlikely for one thing that that happens and occurs. It, like I say, a couple of mistakes early season, but there's not been many of that ilk since I've been at the club. Um, and to have three in a game, um, you know, from it is sort of more or less individual, two and a half, I would say. Joe's a bit unfortunate on the first one. Um, is unlikely. Um, we've got to make sure it stays unlikely. But look, these are the biggest challenges of being a manager. You know, the bit when someone should defend that and the bit when they score at that end, that's the biggest challenge of being a manager, getting them in the right areas, getting them in the zones, getting them in a, a place to score. The final moment when they put it in the net, that's the hardest thing as a manager. Equally, the final moment of making a good decision. They're the hardest things to manage. Sean, going back to the first goal, why do you think so many players in the defence are over the Yeah, I just, no, it certainly wasn't a tactical idea, no. Um, the players know it's just one of them things, you know, trying to be up for it, I suppose, being overzealous in your actions, trying to get involved, you know, trying to start hard and fast and bright, which I asked them to do, and just just getting involved in a moment. But no, there's there's no uh, there's no tactical reason for that, I can assure you. And last season, before the ball get points, obviously much less than the point per game this season. Why do you think it's been such a slump from last season? Well, it's been it's been tough all along. There's not been a slump. It's the, the 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 fine lines of finding consistency to win are there for most in the Premier League, not the superpowers. Getting on the right side of their margins, you know, and I, and I think we haven't done that as well. Um, I wasn't expecting. There it seems to be this mythical thing we spoke about this week, like the, the last you know last season at the old lady, you know, as if everyone's become better players. They haven't. You know, there's still a reality of Everton Football Club. Bring more money in than you're spending. Try and work with the players you've got. Try and develop them. Sell a few when you can to bring some money in. That hasn't changed. And we don't know whether it will. We've got a bit possibly new owners coming in. It might well change. We'd have to wait and see. But that's been the, that's been the task I've been given, and it's still there now. So was I expected to do better than this? Yes. Myself, the, myself and the players, that is, as a collective. And I think we should have done better than that with the chances we're creating games to win games, but we haven't taken them chances. And when a bad day comes, if you haven't taken chances in the previous games, then it makes the noise just get bigger. That's football. That's life in football. Mike, the nature Mike, what, sorry? Oh, we rethink everything constantly. All managers do, trust me. There's never... I remember Michael Duff came on staff at Burnley and he had this feeling that, as you know, everyone just said, I just played a 4-4-2. And then he came in a meeting when he was on staff and he went, oh my goodness, I didn't realise how many hours you spend talking about options, possibles, mental side of the game, physical side of the game, who's, who's positive, who's not, who's ready, who's not, subs, who's subs, why are they subs, reasons. Trust me, it's an ongoing thing. All managers, well, all that I know, is a constant. You know, we never just roll anyone out there. We're always looking who's on form, who can do this, what can we look at, how can they affect us, how can they affect the opposition and deal with that. Over 32 minutes a day, I think everyone would go, yeah, they've done it well. You know, that, that's the nature of the game. It, it doesn't last 32 minutes. It lasts for 96, 97, 98, not whatever. OK, thanks, folks. Cheers, everyone.